Thanks for viewing another 12 p.m. tutorial. This video is going to teach you how to use a service called DynaWeb that was created by Dynamic Internet Technology, the same people who created the FreeGate circumvention tool. DynaWeb is an anti-censorship circumvention portal that uses hundreds of mirror sites in order to allow users to access information that may be blocked where they're using the internet. According to DIT's website, the DynaWeb service is hugely popular in China because it seems to be able to circumvent the Great Firewall of China with relative ease. But you don't have to live in China to enjoy the service that DynaWeb offers. DynaWeb is easy to use, it doesn't require you to install any software on your computer, and you don't have to configure any settings before you're ready to access the whole internet. So let's get started by opening up a web browser. Now in the web browser's address bar, we're going to type in www.dit-inc.us. Okay, this is the Dynamic Internet Technology website. Here you can read about their organization, their products, and their clients. In the upper right-hand corner here, you can choose your language of choice. What we're concerned with is the products page. So let's click the products tab. Here on the products page, you can see FreeGate, Mass Mailing, and DynaWeb. Since we want to use DynaWeb, let's click on the green DynaWeb text. This is an in-depth description of DynaWeb. Feel free to read through this information in order to better understand the technology that DIT uses in order to help you access filtered information. Once you're done reading, click on the link in the first paragraph. That link is us d-o-n-g-t-a-i-w-a-n-g dot com forward slash home underscore e-n dot p-h-p What you are seeing here is essentially the DynaWeb service. At the top of the page are a few links. Home will bring you back to this page if you navigate to any of the other pages. Download will give you information on downloading different pieces of software that DIT have developed. FAQ will give you answers to some of the common questions about DIT and DynaWeb. Support gives you information on contacting DIT with questions or comments. And the About Us page will give you an abbreviated version of the information you read on the DIT website. If you have navigated to any of these tabs, click the Home tab to return to the main page. Now we're going to use the DynaWeb service to access the internet. It's really easy. Click in the address bar provided on the page, type in a URL, click Anonymous Surfing, and your web page will open up in a new tab. I'm going to type in www.google.com and then click on the button marked Anonymous Surfing. All right. Now I'm visiting Google. And you might be saying, it looks the same as usual. However, if you look in your web browser's address bar up here, you'll notice that it does not say www.google.com. The address you see is the one that is routing you through the DynaWeb service in order to access the website. I can enter search terms into Google, and DynaWeb will continue to route my request around any internet censorship. Let's say I wanted to know more about video editing. And let's face it, I probably should. So I'm going to type video editing into the Google search bar and hit enter. If you look at my browser's address bar, you'll notice that the DynaWeb information is still there and the Google search is tacked onto the end. This means that my search has been routed through the DynaWeb service. If you want to go to a different website, simply click on the tab at the top of your browser marked DynaWeb and enter a different address into the address bar. I'm going to enter www.wikipedia.com dot org this time. This will open Wikipedia in a new tab. Keep in mind that if you type a web address directly into your browser's address bar, like so, you will not be using the DynaWeb service anymore. You must access websites using the tab marked DynaWeb. Once you're finished using DynaWeb, simply close the tab, navigate away from the page, or close the browser. Now you know how to use DynaWeb.